This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and international shipping is discounted. Be sure to check out their daily deals and sign up for their reward program. Hi everyone, for today's video I am going to show you to make hot glue embellishments. So of course you need a hot glue gun with glue. And then these are silicone molds. That's a flower mold and that's a heart mold. And I'm using those because glue doesn't stick to those. And this is unicorn spit paint and this is pixie punk pink. Say that 10 times fast. And there's the mold and I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. It's already been heating up for a while. And I'm going to squirt some glue into the molds, into that flower mold. And I'm just uh, using enough, you know, I'm trying not to overflow it, but that's kind of hard. And I'll also show you how to make perfect flat backs on these pieces. And then I'm going to do the leaf and I just do the same thing. I squirt the, mo the glue in the mold. And here's how you make the backs flat. You take that other silicone mold and you just lay that on top and you just press it down firmly. And then you're going to let that dry, you know, until the glue's set. You don't want it gooey. You want it nice and dry. So once that's dry, you can uh, pull the mold right off and it won't stick. And don't try this with like wax paper or anything like that. It will not work. You have to use silicone. But there's the flower and there's the leaf. If there's any bits and pieces of the glue, you can just pull them off or you can trim them off. And now, and now I'm going to make the heart. And for this one, I have a silicone baking sheet. I just wanted to show you a couple ways of doing this. So again, I take the hot glue and I squirt it in the uh, heart. And then I will take that baking sheet and I will lay it on top. And I will give it a, a good press. But there it is. And then I give it a good press. And then I take a weight. You can use anything. Uh, it's just so I don't burn my fingers. And I used a uh, fabric weight, but you can use anything, even a book, anything with some weight. And then I'll let that dry. And then once that's dry, I will pull that up. And there's the flower. But see how nice that turned out? And it's got a nice flat back. And here's the leaf and I'm just pulling off the little strings there. And the leaf did get an air bubble in the uh, fat end of the leaf, but I'm just going to leave it because you'll never see that if I glue it to something. And I'm checking the heart to see if it's done and it's not. It's still pretty squishy. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. And then once it's done cooling off completely, then I can take the silicone sheet off. And here it is, and I'm checking it, and it is finished. So I'm going to pull that silicone sheet off and see how it just peeled right off. And then I'm going to pop that heart out, and there it is. And again, you can pull all those little bits and pieces off or trim, trim them off with the scissors. But that one turned out super uh, good. And here I am just trimming the larger overspill with some scissors. And I'll just trim that off so the sides are nice and smooth. And here's all three pieces. But the backs are nice and flat and they look just like plastic store-bought embellishments. But nice and flat so then you can glue them uh, to your paper projects or your altered projects, what, whatever you want. And I decided I needed to make that rose. So again, I'm just doing the same thing, filling the mold cavity with the hot glue, sticking the baking sheet on top, making sure the back's nice and flat, then putting a fabric weight over the back uh, so it stays nice and flat, and then I let it cool. And once it's cool, I can unmold that rose. And there, I'm feeling it to see if it's cool enough. And it is. That was a time lapse. And <laughs> just so you know, <laughs> I did let it sit for a little bit. And there I'm just pulling some strings off. And then I unmold it and I have that perfect little rose. And I'm just going to peel the extra pieces off. And now I'm going to want to paint these. So that's what I'm using the unicorn spit for. 
I'm just going to squirt some of that unicorn spit in that dish and I use a brush and I just paint that rose with that nice bright pink color and what's going to happen is because this is a stain it's a paint but it's more like a stain and so that's going to soak into the hot glue so the paint won't come off you know you don't have to worry about it peeling off or anything it just kind of soaks right in and it makes a nice uh, almost like chalky appearance and here I'm doing the same thing to the heart. I'm just coloring the heart with the unicorn spit. And I will let those dry and then I will have some uh, perfectly pink embellishments. This is an easy way to make embellishments. All you need is hot glue and some silicone molds. And there's the rose after that unicorn spit has dried. It looks fantastic. It looks super pretty. I will link the products that I use down below and this was a fun project to make and if you're new to my channel welcome and please hit that subscribe button in the upper right hand corner and then click that little notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.